It was no doubt a big moment for the residents of Kazkoga when the world-famous scientist and businessman Alfred Nobel returned to Björkborn after his travels abroad. It was in 1894 when buying the company Bofors Gulsbong that Björkborn became his home. It was certainly fortunate that Alfred Nobel returned to Sweden after having lived in France and elsewhere for many years as his last will and testament would probably never have been recognized. But thanks to the fact that he kept his horses in the Björkborn stables, the stately home was acknowledged as his place of residence and the will could be executed in accordance with Swedish law. The first Nobel Prize was awarded in 1901. Today, Alfred Nobel's Björkborn estate in Karlskoga is a popular museum, attracting people of all ages from around the world, keen to know the man behind the Nobel Prize. Here we can learn more about his life in business and science, and gain a sense of his extensive general knowledge. The museum houses his bed and desk, and the home is furnished in true period style giving us a good idea of what it looked like during Alfred Nobel's time. Vad är det här för Det är jättegamla böcker. De har tillhört Alfred Nobel. De är över 100 år gamla. Men det finns en bok där borta. Kan vi inte gå och titta på den? Jo, kom. It's fascinating to think that he once sat here perusing his business papers, reading the great authors of the time and studying volumes of engineering. Or no doubt, just chatting with friends, listening to music, or simply enjoying the tranquility of Björkborn. On some balmy summer days, it actually feels as if he's come back. Maybe he's just popped by to make sure we're taking care of his home, while still showing a curiosity for everything going on in the big wide world. With a bit of luck, when you're visiting Alfred Nobel's Björkborn, he'll be sitting there at his desk. Oh, good dog! Alfred Nobel, good dog! And he will be absolutely delighted to show you around his home. We all look forward to seeing you at Karlskoga's Nobel Museum. <laughs>